Clouding of the normally clear lens of the eye is called cataract. Most cataracts develop when aging or injury changes the tissue that makes up the eye's lens. In the normal eye, the light passes through the cornea. The cornea is shaped like a dome and bends light to help the eye focus. Some of the li- some of this light enters the eye through an opening called the pupil. The iris controls how much the light the pupil lets in. Next, the light passes through the lens. The lens works together with the cornea to focus light correctly on the retina. When this light hits the retina, special cells called photoreceptors turn the light into electrical signals. Main types of age related cataracts are nuclear sclerosis, cortical and posterior subcapsular. Nuclear sclerosis is the most common type of cataract and involves the central or the nuclear part of the lens. This eventually becomes hard or sclerotic due to condensation on the lens nucleus and the deposition of brown pigment within the lens. In early stages, an increase in sclerosis may cause an increase in refractive index of the lens. This causes a myopic shift that decreases hyperopia and enables Pre-biocopic patients to see at near without reading, le- reading glasses. This is only temporary and is called second sight. Cortical cataracts are due to the lens cortex becoming opaque. They occur when changes in the fluid contained in the periphery of the lens causes fissuring. When these cataracts are viewed through an ophthalmoscope or other magnification system, the appearance is similar to white spokes or wheel or wedges. Types of cortical cataract The opacity in the anterior involves only the frontal part of the cortex lens. Next, the peripheral. The opacity involves the periphery and then forms wedge-like structures as shown. Next, the posterior. The opacity involves the back part of the lens but does not touch the capsule. Next, the laminar. The opacity involves the whole part of the lens cortex except the cortical part of the anterior to the nucleus. Next are the subcapsular cataract types. First, the anterior subcapsular. This involves the opacification in the anterior or the frontal part of the cortex lens, as shown. Next, the posterior subcapsular. This involves opacification in the posterior or the back part of the cortex lens. Next, the anterior polar. The cloudiness occurs outside the boundary of the frontal part of the cortex lens as shown. Next, the posterior polar. The cloudiness occurs outside the boundary of the posterior or the back part of the cortex lens.
Next, the stages of cataract. First, the early cataract. The lens is still clear, but the ability to change focus between the near and the far vision has become to be comp compromised. Next, the immature cataract. Proteins have started to cloud the lens, making it slightly opaque, especially in the center. Next, the mature cataract. Opaqueness has increased to such a point that it can appear milky or white or amber in color. Hypermature cataract. The cataract has become very dense, impairing vision to a significant extent and has hardened. Morgagnon cataract. The hypermature cataract in which the total liquefaction of the cortex has allowed the nucleus to sink inferiorly. At the end, 